Hey guys, NH here. Firstly, before I go on to what this video is about, I want to apologise for not um, uploading on Tuesday. I didn't have I didn't have any time. I was out all day doing this and doing that, so I never had the chance to make a video for Tuesday's video. So hopefully, I'll get back to the two videos a week um, next week. So hopefully. Okay, on to the, today's video. Today's video is on this Magnus. Now, this Mega Magnus has been modded quite a bit. I literally just finished it because. This Mega Magnus belongs to my friend Josh. Um, he asked me if I would make it shoot elites or streamlines or just any kind of type of dart that's not mega. I went, oh yeah, sure, I can do that. And then I it took a lot longer than I thought it would, but I did it. I, I did it at least. So I ran into some trouble in the air restrictor where I bashed out. You know those that little that peg that the three things around that hold it on. I just bashed those out with a hammer, the flathead screwdriver. And then it went inside the plunger tube. So what I did was I took a drill, went through that back piece. So then I grabbed the file, <laughs> which might sound a bit weird. So then I grabbed the file and then I just jammed it through that hole and then it got hammered. just smacked it. And then the, the air restrictor part and the spring just came out the front. So then that solved the problem of getting out the air restrictor. Then I was like, I wonder. So because there was a hole in there, I wonder if the air won't, you know, all release. So I just plugged that hole up with hot, some hot glue. That helps seem to hold it pretty well, and that um, piece of pipe is uh, just wrapped in e-tape, just some from a random broken gun that I I have. It's wrapped in e-tape and just jammed down the barrel. It's literally it, it was so much e-tape, it almost you can't push it in by hand. So I just crap my knuckles. I literally um I just put it towards my door and just pushed. So and I also added a um I think it's an alpha trooper spring. In here and I stretched them both so there's more power and I've also removed every single lock so you can hold it prime so that's pretty nice it's still a mega magnet except the this part here the magazine things are cleared out and the little walls are cleared out because if because first I left first I left these in but then when I first went to prime it it had so little room to put the dot in so then I had to remove those to make it easier just a man called up streamline to show you it definitely works. As you can see, it's empty now, there's nothing in there. It actually turned out a lot better than I expected it to be because I've never really done anything like this before, but this is my first time doing it. He, I got, he's giving me a spring for a far shot for it. I mean, in some people's mind, it might not be it might not be worth it at all, but I think it's worth it because I need to. I I've, I have loads of booper darts, so I'm gonna need some as a gun to shoot booper darts. Let's go over the pros and cons of this mod. Pros and cons. The pros is that you're taking all that power used to shoot a mega dart, converting that power to shooting a little tiny elite dart, which makes it go so far. Like, Mega Darts, they go like, I don't know, for, they claim 90 feet, but it really isn't. They like, probably like, I don't know, 45, 50. With this, it's definitely achieving that 90, feet, 90 foot range, maybe a bit over as well. Now onto the cons of this blast, this mod. The cons of this mod is that the internal magazine is now non-functional because I don't know how to make it take mags, but I'm not going to try because I'll probably break it, so that's what I'm not going to do. And sacrificing that um, ability of using the internal mag for mega darts is um, not the worst thing, but you have to. It's a slow way of reload because the mega magnets you used to go like just one, 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 and then you can reload free. But this time you have to do this. Get a dart, pull it back. Get a dart. Just kind of, kind of load it in something like this. Yeah, if I can get it lined up. Like that. Or if you put it a simple way, that's that's how I would do it because I think it looks cooler. But if you put it a simple way, prime it first, and then you can just jam the dart down the front. Works either way. So, if you guys are looking for a very very powerful pistol, this will be the one. And um, if you have the modding experience, do, do definitely do this because that will give you a very 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 high advantage in the field. If you don't, if you're not good at modding, I would just recommend sticking to Mega. Or I don't think, or this um, 
Coop Seven Seven Two um, used to uh, a, a few videos back. He reviewed some um, worker parts where they have these barrels that convert the Cyclone Shop, Big Shop, and the Rotor Fury to Elite Blasters, but they don't have any for Magnus. So, if I were you, if you want to make the Shoot Elites without modding much, buy a Cyclone Shop, buy or, or buy a Big Shot or a Rotor Fury, and buy the right pack of tubings for the Rotor Fury or the. Because there's different packs for different gun, so make sure you buy the right one if you decide to go buy them. So yeah, um, this video is a little bit longer than usual. Usually my, my videos are quite short, but this time it's a little longer. Go wait in detail of, of everything I did. So if you like this, guys, please leave a like and subscribe, and maybe do a comment if you're telling me what you want to see next, and I'll do my best to get it to you. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.